More now on the presidential election. Now that Joe Biden has chosen Senator Kamala Harris as his running mate, voters will decide if this is the team they want to see in the White House. Joining us now to talk more about the presumptive Democratic ticket is St. John's political science professor Brian Brown. And Brian, what do you think of Joe Biden's choice? I think Kamala Harris is a safe, strategic and frankly not a big surprise uh, that she was chosen. Uh, it's a historical choice. It's an inspirational story given her background, but uh, it's a long way to election day. Hmm, that's for sure. And Biden and Harris at one point were former rivals. Let's take a quick look at a clip from one of their debates last August. You can't beat President Trump with double talk on this plan. Unfortunately, Vice President Biden, you're just simply inaccurate. For a Democrat to be running for president with a plan that does not cover everyone, I think is without excuse. So what do you make of this change in their relationship? All is fair in politics. So I think th that is water under the bridge when it comes to the Biden-Harris relationship. All right, now when it comes to Catholic issues, Senator Harris is a supporter of legal protection for abortion. She's also taken issue with the Knights of Columbus, calling the Catholic charitable organization an all-male society. As we all know, Joe Biden is Catholic. So what do you think all of this means for the Catholic vote? Uh, her issue with the Knights of Columbus, I found it a little troublesome because it was either poor staff work or a simple Google search would have resolved any uh, mystery around the Knights of Columbus and where they stand on, on Catholic issues, they're aligned with the Catholic Church. Um, I think it was unfortunate because the Knights of Columbus, as we all know, do wonderful work and charitable efforts in the community and throughout the world. But I think that was a misstep that you should probably work to correct. But the vice president, we vote for the people at the top of the ticket. It's a historic choice, no doubt. But, you know, it's a footnote in history until she's at the top of the ticket which is very likely someday. All right, now what can Harris do to help Biden win? Clearly, she helps with the gender gap, the diversity gap. Um, you know, I think there are some progressive voters who might have been on the sideline up until now who can get behind Kamala Harris as part of the ticket. Um, the real question for me is going to be, you know, her presidential ambitions are no secret. Uh, if elected, Joe Biden is going to be the oldest person to assume the presidency of the United States. So the chatter is almost going to start immediately about Kamala Harris in 2024. Um, so I think that's going to be a, a challenge or an interesting challenge for Biden to manage and, and what kind of relationship they develop. Um, Biden has experience. He's been the vice president. He knows what he's looking for. Kamala Harris may have to adjust along the way. All right, Brian Brown, thanks for sharing your insight, and we'll speak with you again soon. Good to be with you. Thank you. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and then click on the bell to get instant updates about all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.